On 27th of April, Italian Prime Minister Giorgia Maloney traveled to Downing Street to meet British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak. As she arrived, small groups of peaceful protesters voiced their disapproval of Maloney, who leads the far-right Brothers of Italy party. However, Maloney was received warmly by Sunak, who praised her for having brought stability to the Italian economy and for her agreement of the work Sunak is doing to counter human traffickers. The two leaders hope to strengthen the relationship between the two governments on topics such as defense, Ukraine, migration, and trade. Sunak was also planning to take Maloney on a tour of Westminster Abbey before the coronation of Charles, providing an opportunity to influence the European Union from a non-member state. At an event in Rome earlier this week, to commemorate Italy's liberation from fascism, Maloney expressed the incompatibility of right-wing political parties with any nostalgia for fascism. However, her view was not shared by all in her government. Ignazio La Russa, a collector of fascist memorabilia, suggested there was no reference to anti-fascism in the Italian constitution and faced demands for his resignation. Maloney also expressed concern about the decline in fertility rates in Italy, which among the lowest in Europe, and pledged to curb mass migration from North Africa. Maloney argued for the creation of a single European policy on refugees that provides support for those affected by wars and natural disasters outside of the EU. The UK government's illegal migration bill was also passed in the House of Commons the day before Maloney's visit. The two countries have since then agreed to a multi-billion dollar strategic design of the sixth generation Tempest military fighter, together with the Japanese, with Italy aiming to reach NATO's target defense spending of 2% of GDP, its current total is 1.51%. Finally, Maloney's visit comes at a time when Italy is embroiled in a debate over the EU's decision to appoint Luigi Di Maio, former foreign minister and leader of the Five Star Movement, as the EU's special envoy to the Gulf. The controversial appointment was made by EU High Representative for Foreign Affairs and Security Policy Josep Borrell without prior consultation with Italy's government. The meeting was an historic occasion and marks a new chapter in the relationship between the two countries. It remains to be seen how the governments will approach issues such as human trafficking, defense, and migration, but it is clear that the UK-Italian relationship has been strengthened after the visit.